Shelly Badger, and I missed you all so fucking much. You have no idea how much I have missed recording during the span of time that I've been absent due to the whole concussion and healing from it. But I'm doing far better now, and uh, I figured why not start this on an interesting foot with a horror game. This horror game is called Deceit. But before I continue on with explaining the game and the story, um, I will update you on Morai or Morai? Morai? You know, that, that game with the farmers and the lumberjack. Um, so apparently, karma was not on my side, and uh, the person who played after me decided to kill my farmer. Real nice. Real nice. I guess he didn't fall for the whole, like, hot dogs with the strawberry syrup. It is what it is, guys. But, this current game, the one we are currently looking at right now, um, is supposed to be, from what I've read, it seems very similar to Insidious. Which, take that as you will, I know some people aren't a big fan of Insidious. It is what it is. Me, personally, I actually did kind of like Insidious. I thought it was a good movie. I don't know. Did you think it was a bad movie? Did you like it? I don't, tell me. I don't know. Um, but uh, the storyline is supposed to be this kid's in a coma. It's a nephew of this family. I'm supposed to be a medium that's going in here to figure shit out. And this this little kid is like also psychic. So he's also connected to the after world, I think is how it's phrased in this game. But uh, let's check it out, shall we? <laughs> Here we go. Open sesame. Oh, okay. It's a no-go. It's a no-go, guys. Let's see. Where else can I go? God damn. Do you hear those dogs? What are they doing? What's their problem? Somebody, bring your dogs inside. It's late at night. They shouldn't be that loud. People are trying to sleep. Huh. That was really abrupt. Okay. <laughs> What's in here? Oh. Hey! Oh! Hey, look! It's a key! Ooh! Maybe now I can open the front door. Ooh. Okay. Onward! I hold silver away! Whoa! That guy really did go away. Fly like a bird, little random crumpled up shit. Uh, here we go. Oh, this is a nice looking house. I'm gonna close this door. Maybe it'll be quieter. Nope, it's not. <laughs> Alright, oh. Hello? 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 These seem like very random pictures on the wall. This one tells a story of how dilapidated and diminished our society is. <laughs> nah, it's actually probably just, you know, a leaf. Someone just wanted to paint a leaf. Let's not look too deep into it. Oh, look at that. Dead ass, though. Oh, it's a book. Okay, pick it up. And somehow the book magically changed color, and I cannot retrieve it. So I have no idea what the book says inside. Cool. Thanks, guys. Anything here? Anything? What's these say? Let's let's read them. Let's see. The works of William Shakespeare. Uh, Virginia's Venture, Riviera. Uh, hey, hey, wait a second. Why do they have double of the same books? Suspicious. All right, moving on. I'm gonna enter this way. Hello? Is this door locked? Or am I just, like, not opening it properly? Okay, I guess it's locked. I guess we have to go this way. Judging by the ominous music, I suppose. Oh, it's a bathroom. Love light. What? Do I... Why do I hear random music? What was, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, hey, Tresme. Tresme. Ooh, la la. Maybe I should clean their house. Maybe that would make them happier. Now can I go through this door? Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa, what's going on there, door? Calm the fuck down. Chill out, fam. Okay. Someone needs to really 
Well, I guess they don't need to wash dishes. They just need to empty the sink. Anybody want some tea? I know I do. Any foods? No? Is there anything here? No? Okay. That's really weird to have a window there. Or is it? I don't know. Maybe it enters outside. Not that. Okay, I think we've had enough of that. Uh, what? Okay, whoa, this has got to be the creepiest thing I've seen so far from this game. Why, oh why, is there a freaking microwave on the corner of the counter? Who does that? Who? I'm saying. I mean, I'm not, I'm not about to judge somebody or anything, but I kind of feel like, you know, if you put a microwave on the counter like that and that's how you leave it, you shouldn't be allowed to vote. Um, okay. These are very nice Pure One import furniture pieces. Very nice. Apparently there was a sale because they went kind of cry cry with it. Uh, oh. La 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 la. Hello. I like these uh, paintings. Okay. See, so this is freaking weird. Like, why is there a window connecting the kitchen to the stairway area? That just seems very strange. Am I wrong? I don't feel like I'm wrong. That's, that seems so far now a little topping the microwave. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? What's going on? Can I open this door? No, I cannot. Can I check out this window? No. I can apparently only check out windows connected to kitchens. Uh, mm hmm. I, I bet this is, this is their family. Yep. This is, uh, this is their, uh, their, uh, friend John. This is, uh, uh, Sally. And, uh, this is, uh, I have no idea what's in that picture, actually. Like, is it a horse? I don't know. I can't, we can't tell from there. Let's just go in. No? Oh, we can't go into the flickery light room yet? Darn. Because, you know, I totally would have enjoyed that. Oh, hello. Hello, this person really has some interesting taste in paintings. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? Uh-oh, somebody needs to call in Geek Squad. Look at that, that pad on that laptop. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> hold on one second. This looks like a job for Mr. Mustache. Wait, we gotta put this on right. Here we go. Dear Miss Vivian, my name is Spencer Thompson, and I wish you to get familiar with the rather delicate case. My wife Harriet and I live together with our nephew David. Uh, well, oh, and and my mustache. His parents had died in a car crash a couple of years before. So little David came to live with us. The problem is as follows. Since he was very little, David has been suffering from nightmares and mustaches. One month ago, he fell asleep and woke up my mustache. The doctor said it could be a strange case of mustache coma and put medical devices up in his room in order to keep him alive. We keep David at home with us in spite of the fact that no change had occurred. Only a few people know about the special gift David always had, the gift to separate himself from his worldly body and travel into unknown worlds and our mustaches. Oh God. See, my mustache didn't know about it and it, it fled off my face, it got scared. See, oh. Be calm, mustache. It's okay, mustache. It's all right. You're in a safe place. I know this sounds totally crazy, but I believe the reason why David didn't wake up is that his spirit still wanders in a place from which he cannot return. You are probably the only mustache who could save him. I got your contact details from an old friend of ours who did come to you once. I'm begging you, please! Please! Come to see the child and bring him back to us. Yours faithfully, Spencer T's Mustache. 
Oh, Red! Thanks, Bansa! Let's see what else is here. Uh, ooh, it's a phone! Uh, oh, God, I feel like so sweaty now. <clears throat> sweaty mustache. <clears throat> uh, I can't pick up the phone at all? Nope. Darn, I wanted to see if any ghosts send nudes. I guess they don't. Oh, missing a piece of my heart. Oh! Oh! I don't like when ghosts do. <laughs> that wasn't really as scary as I was expecting it to be. I mean, <laughs> when I see folded clothes, that's how you impress me. That's not at all how you frighten me. Unless you're using some sort of scratchy detergent, I suppose. Can I open this, this door? No? Okay. It's a very nice looking bedroom. But I will say, a Swiffer Jet Mop? Night! might not kill you. I mean, it's like you got the clothes folded right, but the floor is freaking ghastly. Anything here? Oh, what? What did that say? It went so fast. Okay. What's in here? Ooh. Oh. Someone needs a happy meal. Man. All right. Now can I go in here? No? I still can't? Am I missing something? Oh, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Because that said it was missing a piece. So I feel like I'm supposed to find a piece and it's probably going to be in this room. I probably was not looking enough like I should have. Let me see. Let me press. Ah, ha, ha! Gotcha. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh. Ah! Ah! Okay! Ah! <laughs> Holy shit! What's Rob Zombie doing in this picture? Walking away. Oh, look! Now the door is open. Hello! Ooh, I'm going into a club. I'm not even dressed right. God damn. Oh, 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 Fail. Fail. Oh, man. I'll have to send that into Fail Army. Oh. Is that me? Those bangs, girl. Oh, uh-oh. You know what that means. It means the loading dance is about to happen. Loading, loading, la 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 loading, la la loading, la la loading, la 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 Hopefully I get a weapon, you know, that would be good. Or a lantern. <laughs> oh man. Or even get a lantern like that these days. Uh, I guess you get like, uh, you know, stores for like fishing and hunting and stuff. What? What was that all about? That was so like abrupt on the sound there. Is anybody, oh, <laughs> hello. Hi, you're not gonna hurt me, are you? Oh. Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, wait a second. I think he just wants a headbanging friend. I got you ready. One, two, three. Yeah. We're headbang buddies. You all gotta cry. Yeah, let's do it. One, two, three. No? Okay. All right, all right. Apparently, apparently the light is too bright for that person, so I will leave. I know where I'm not wanted. Oh. Can I go in there? Oh. Fine. 
That was weird. I didn't expect to hear SpongeBob music. <laughs> Wait, did I miss something? That was weird. Oh! Let's dance! Come on, get up! <laughs> Moving on. Who's crying? You need a tissue? A Kleenex? I'm here for you. I'll be your friend. I'll be your friend. I'll be the shoulder to cry on. Cause that's what friends are for. Okay. Oh, hello. You look like a Game of Thrones extra. <laughs> What's up? What's going on? What's going on, girl? Oh, you gave me a key. Thanks. Okay, I guess that means I get to go back up to that door that was locked. Where uh, Rob Zombie in a dress happened to be. Let's go find him. This music, like, <sighs> I don't know, man. Whoa! Rob Zombie, come back! Come back! Where'd you go, Rob Zombie? Come back! Come back! I need to talk to you about how I've got some more to pick with the Halloween movies you did. Not very happy about it. We need to talk. Before I continue on, I gotta say, this so far has kind of reminded me of, like, uh, man, that music, though. Um, the uh, amusement park haunted houses because it doesn't seem like anything can actually hurt me it's just you know there oh hi how are you oh hey someone's a spider-man fan hi hello oh the medium was able to rescue the little dave oh that was the it that was the end okay well that's kind of meh. all right oh 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 Okay, so apparently that's the end of the game. Um, I don't know. It was okay. I kind of, like I said, I kind of felt like it was like uh, when you're in an amusement park and you're in the little haunted houses, you know, where uh, the things are set up to scare you. But it just, like some of the jump scares got me a little bit, a tiny bit, but not, not a whole lot. And you know me, I'm kind of a puss when it comes to that stuff. But, um, but it was still enjoyable. I guess I'd give it like maybe a 3.5 or a 4 out of 10, maybe. I kind of feel like that's a little bit of a hostile type of rating, but at the same time, it just seems like a very realistic rating, um, especially when, like, a lot of the music just, like, abruptly abruptly stops and then continues on to a different song just immediately. It, it kind of takes you out of, uh, out of what you're trying to do when you're playing it is, you know, to be immersed and, and get scared. But you can't do that when things are reminding you that, you know, you're just playing a game. But uh, nonetheless, it was still interesting. The graphics were very, very nice, especially the rain. Uh, uh, I will have to say, though, I'm still stuck on that microwave on the comp on the counter on the corner. Like, that, like what was that with that, guys? Like, seriously, what were you thinking? Uh, but anyways, if you like this video, be sure to hit like down below. I promise you, October will be filled with a lot more scarier games than this. <laughs> Um, but be sure to subscribe so that you can be updated on those different uploads of scary spooky games for Halloween. I'm Shelly Badger, and, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!